Ready to begin? Epic. Hello, everyone. Welcome to this uh, test drive. Today, we're taking out the Gundam Prototype 00 Blossom. It is a three-star support mobile suit at a 500 rating. And uh, let's check out its weapon. So we have the long beam rifle. It doesn't look like I have a charge, but... Ooh, I think it has pierce on it. And... You can fire... You fire two shots before it overheats. It doesn't have a charge, but you, it does re-up quickly. But if you fire it immediately after, you will overheat. Next, we have our dual beam sabers. So the forward swing is a double down swing. Side swing is a single side swing. Let's see, I'm pretty sure the right swing is going to be the same. Okay, yep. And then lastly is the back swing, the heavy swing. Okay, it's a dash and a stab, kind of like the core, the GM Kai core booster. All right, next we have head Vulcans. Average head Vulcans, pretty good. They'll they'll stun at almost the entire magazine's required. Okay. Next we have the shoulder beam cannons, and they do have aim assist. So let's see. Oh, they actually do. They do decent damage, more better than the Vulcans. They're rapid fire too, and they have a higher uh, stun rate. Okay. And then we have the long beam rifle, but this time it's a charge. And I believe it has a four second charge. Okay, yes, so it does have a four second charge. You are able to move around in the charge mode, and you can use your scope. See, as soon as this mobile suit respawns, we'll hit with the charge shot. All right, here we go. Okay, it's an insta-stun, and it's a three-hit prolonged beam. All right. Then lastly, we have our ray dish. Let's see. During ground battles, damaging or destroying a mobile suit data on your team. cripple its effectiveness. Okay, so all the mobile suits are marked. On your own legs, and take every chance you get to damage the enemies. Oh yeah, you can you can weapon combo with this thing pretty good, but it's beam cannon, and it's charge beam cannon where it's at. So I want to see what happens after you pop your ray dish. What happens? Oh, your radar system's down completely. I mean, you still have slight radar, but let's see when this guy responds. Can you even see anything through the radar system offline? No, it doesn't show anything. Okay, so you are completely radar blind after you pop your ray dish. Okay. Let's see if it comes back when it recharges. Let's see. About to find out. Okay, so until it recharges, I have no radar. Well, let, you know what? Let's test something. I wonder if the radar does. I know it pings the enemy, but let's see. This does 2960 when I do the thing. Let's do a ping. Your marking data onto your team. 3658. So, you do more damage in radar mode. Okay. Interesting. So that is like you you have increased damage and you ping the enemy while your radar ping is active, but as soon as it goes down, you're back to no radar. Interesting. Yeah, let's see. Yep, there it goes. Radar system down. Okay, good to know. Well, that's a GP00 Blossom. Um, it looks like you're going to be a good artillery suit. Well, not a, you're, you, lo this looks like it's going to be a good mid to long range artillery suit with the beams. And then you get like extended... Let me see real quick. You have less damage when your radar's popped. No, it goes back to standard damage. Okay, yeah, it looks like while your radar's down, you're vulnerable to raid suits rushing you because you can't, unless you have line of sight, you can't tell. Very interesting. I, this is a very gimmicky suit, but I like it. I'm going to be using it. Um, and if you get it, I hope you like it too. Epic. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you're new to the channel. Bye-bye.